Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to organize your code in Eclipse. So really quick before the video starts, over 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're part of that 90%, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and when you do subscribe, make sure you click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm just going to give you a few tips to organize your code and um, yeah, so it's just easier for you to keep track of what you're doing and just have cleaner code in general. So yeah, um, the first um, probably obvious tip is to have comments. It just helps you explain what you're doing in your code. And it's uh, always good to have, you know, not too many comments, but just uh, just enough so that somebody can understand what you're doing or that you can understand what you're doing in your code. Another thing that I really like, especially when a class is like really long and there's a lot of methods, is using this little button right here to minimize. So say I want to minimize this, I have a uh, paint component is now minimized and I can minimize all my different methods so that it's just really easy to keep track of what I'm doing and you know just keep uh, the one that I'm working on open and keep everything else minimized. So I've gone ahead and minimized some of the methods and you can just see how much more uh, clear it is and then you can just uh, maximize the one that you're working on and just do that and then once you're done minimize again and if I were to show you the non-minimized code it'd be you know it's kind of hard to find which method you want to go to or if you're just like say you're uh, referring to a previous method um, in a method you're working on right now you'll have to scroll up and look for it it's just easier if everything's minimized so you can just go through it quickly and find what you're looking for another thing that i really like is this command i found which was actually i kind of found it by accident but um, say you have a variable so in this case i have step counter as a variable and say you want to change that um, variable name but if you've written a lot of code and the variable is used like really frequently throughout the code, it's going to be a bit tedious to go through all the code and find every instance that you use that name and then change it, right? So a really easy way to change variable names is to highlight um, one instance of it, so a step counter, and then on your keyboard, do Alt, Shift, and then R. And then you can see it highlights all the different um, occurrences of that uh, text, which in this case is step counter. And then I'm just going to change it. Say I want to say it to a uh, new variable and it changes all of the different uh, occurrences of that variable. So now everything is called new variable and um, the code still will work. And if I wanna change it back, I can highlight it again and then click Alt Shift R and type in step counter and it's gonna be the same thing. So I really like that command, it's really useful, um, especially if you're just kind of trying something out and you're using like really general names, just like, you know, variable or X, Y, like letters. And if you wanna actually make it, you know, more organized and you want to clean up your code, you can use this to easily um, name your variables um, without, you know, it doesn't take too much effort. Another pretty uh, obvious tip is using indentation. So especially if you have a, a method with like a lot of like nested loops and if statements, um, it's very useful to use proper indentation so you can actually understand what's going on instead of if everything was on the same line, it'd just be kind of uh, hard to read. So the, so the last tip I have is using a theme. So you can see the theme here is called Darkest Dark Theme. If you want to install this, I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner as well as at the end of the video. But I just think this does a great job in highlighting, you know, certain words like, you know, public, void, private, void, int, or all pink color, and then method names are all green. So it's just, it's just kind of useful sometimes and it also just looks cool. So yeah, um, those are my tips for having organized code. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.